The perception of sports wagering has seen a 180 degree turn over the past decade and a half. Once seen as something that could be a stain on sports, it's now a big business for every professional league. Just ask the Cardinals, Royals and Blues. The majority of their games will air on the FanDuel Sports Network. The defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs just won their second of back-to-back -back titles in Sin City, a town that as recently as a decade ago had no professional sports teams, largely due to concerns about gambling. Las Vegas now is home to both an NFL and NHL franchise and is expected to become the new home of Major League Baseball's Oakland A's. We mentioned the business of sports betting because an initiative petition to bring sports wagering to Missouri is backed by every professional sports team within its borders. For years, the state has kicked this can down the road with unregulated and arguably illegal gaming machines often being the holdup. But as Missouri's elected leaders year after year did not take action, other states did, such as Illinois and Kansas, leading Missourians to take their bets across those borders. Language in the amendment states a portion of the revenue generated from sports bets will end up going to public education in the state. But questions surrounding if that's really the case are the focal point of campaigns for both for and against Amendment 2 and could be the deciding factor. When you think of sports betting, many mental images come to mind. Something that you most likely aren't thinking about is a classroom at a local school. But the fate of Amendment 2 may just come down to that image. Like to mix it up the first Despite the main focus of Amendment 2 being to legalize sports wagering in Missouri, revenue going to public education is the main sticking point of the issue. The controversy is something other forms of gambling have also faced previously, with the state lottery raising similar questions about just how much revenue from it goes to public education, if at all. Amendment 2 says a 10% wagering tax will be placed on earnings, and those funds, in turn, will be given to the state for public education. Proponents argue regardless of if revenue makes its way into schools, the thirst for wagering is there. In just the week leading up to the Super Bowl this year, more than 400,000 Missourians attempted to place bets that week, but were unable to do so because they were geolocated right here in the state of Missouri. Seven of the eight states that surround Missouri allow sports betting. Missourians are already engaged in sports betting. We're getting no benefit out of it. Cardetti adds revenue generated from betting is not the only money the state misses out on. They're also stopping for lunch over there. They're also stopping and topping off their gas tank when they're over there. Groups and individuals who oppose the amendment argue the projected 10% tax wouldn't generate enough revenue to make a difference in education. When you look at the number of students that we have in Missouri's public schools, that maximum amount revenue promised would generate a little over $32 per student. Missouri State Auditor Scott Fitzpatrick's office released information on Amendment 2 last fall. The office says they use revenue earned by Indiana, due to a similar population size, to make projections on what Missouri could see. Based on its studies, the report says sports wagering could potentially bring in $267 million in its first four years and $29 million in tax revenue. That's less than a third of the $105 million projected by Cardetti's group. The auditor's report also cast doubt the Gaming Commission has the authority to even collect a tax like the one proposed. Missouri Gaming Commission Chairman Jane Zimmerman says Missourians have nothing to worry about when it comes to where the tax will go. I know that the staff, as, as they are contemplating what those rules will look like, are, are looking very carefully at, at you know, how that money will come in and how it will be passed through. But in the end, one state education group tells KRCG 13, when you cut through the noise surrounding Amendment 2, it comes down to one thing. You should be voting on this amendment if you want to legalize sports betting, whether you want to or not. You should not be voting on this amendment because you want money to go to public schools. Reporting in Jefferson City, Chris Rogers, KRCG 13.